Hello everybody, hearty welcome to my channel. I am going to deal with a subject called radar systems which is very very important subject in the fourth year first semester of ECE. This radar systems mainly fall into the category of communications in the stream of ECE. So I am going, going to make a series of videos explaining all the concepts of this radar systems in each lesson. So this is the part 1 of my video and continuously part 2, part 3 are going to be released and the further concepts will be deal in that video. So today we are dealing with a concept called the basic function of a radar system and introduction of a radar systems which is like a prerequisite to get start with this subject called radar systems. And I have I am going to make videos related to the ECE stream of R16 regulation. You can watch my previous videos related to the third year and second year of ECE in my channel. Interested people can go and watch. Now let us go into the concept. Okay, in this video what are the concepts we are going to discuss. I am explaining about four concepts in this video which are very very important to understand the basic fundamentals of this radar systems. Firstly, what does this radar stands for? This concept deals with the acronym, the brief abbreviation of the radar and at the same time definition of the radar. What next concept is, what is the basic principle behind the radar? This concept explain about on which principle this radar systems are working. Thirdly, brief explanation about applications of the radar. This applications of the radar is a very big concept consisting of 14 marks in most of the question papers. So I am going to make a separate full length video about this applications of radar in my further videos. Today, I will just briefly describe what are the applications of the radar in a single statement. Next, the foremost important topic, last but not the least is what are the basic functions of a radar. So, the main purpose of making this video is lot of students are able to understand the concepts very clearly but they are unable to present it on the paper for whatever the conditions it may be. So because of this reason they are not getting the good grades or whatever the grades they are expecting. So I am making this video presenting to you the matter I mean the way in which we need to return the answer for a question at the same time trying my level best to make you understand about all the concepts. So let us go into the concept. Okay. So, what does this radar stands for? Radar stands for radio detecting and ranging. What does radar stands for? Radar stands for radio detecting and ranging. Here, the name itself radar tells us clearly about what are their functions. Like, if someone suddenly see what is radio detecting and ranging, they can simply get an idea about radar. What does this do? This detects something and it ranges something. Detects means to find out something and range means in terms, we can explain it in terms of measure something like that. So coming to the definition of a radar, radar is a detection system that uses radio waves to determine the range, angle or velocity of the objects. So the main waves on which this radar works is radio waves as it is telling in the name itself. So radar uses radio waves to determine the range, angle or velocity. Now you will get a doubt that what does this range mean? I am going to tell in few more minutes, going deeper into the topic, right? So let us go into the next slide. So 
these are examples of some radar so this is what how a radar look like radar is something which is where very huge big big objects they're not so simple like antenna this is one kind of radar which is in circular shape and this is another kind of radar which is in parabolic shape okay so there are lot of types of radar which we are going to discuss in future times so these are a quite couple of examples of how does a radar look like okay now let us come into the second concept i have told to discuss in this video what is the basic principle behind radar that means what is the working principle behind this radar as it confers in the name itself the radar basic principle is to detect the object or target and at the same time to calculate the range of the target right to detect the object or target uh, here object or target means something to which or towards which this radio waves are targeting and secondly what does it do it calculates the range of the target range means up until here we can simply assume range as the distance between this radar system and the target so we can simply understand range as a distance between this object and the target this so you'll get a doubt that what is the main purpose behind this radar and what are the situations that radar is being invented so here is the answer radar was developed secretly for the military use this military is the main and the foremost application of this radar system it is invented for the military purpose that means for secretly sending the codes or something which they need to travel travel the information transform the information among their groups of military people by several nations in the period before and during world war 2 so this radar is invented at the time of world war 2 for military in the terms of security purpose yes now coming to the third concept what are the applications of radar as i already said before this applications of radar as a huge 14 marks question i am telling this 14 marks in order to make you understand that how much important is this question in this chapter and at the same time how much huge it is so i am just telling briefly what are the applications of this radar and now you are getting a doubt that why this radar is becoming more important it already became important and why it is still in the ongoing trend because radars have a wide range of applications why why because they can be used on the ground in the air on the sea and in the space and where not where not can a radar be used radar is used on the ground it can be applicable on the air it is employed on the sea and at the same time space so it is applicable in all the areas which we can see with our eyes so that is why radar is become booming nowadays and it is already become important since time yes so now coming to the applications of radar the major areas of radar applications are listed below majorly these seven are the applications in which radar is employed right the first one is air traffic control uh, its acronym is atc air we can assume until now that air traffic control is something where we can uh, where we can consume it as an uh, a communication distance or communication problems between uh, uh, flights or something the vehicles which are traveling in the air and second one is air craft navigation navigation itself says that it need to search something so something which we want to search in the air these all applications have a huge huge history which we can going to discuss in our further videos i am telling it just for the simple application just to make you understand and make you aware that where where these radar are used and the third one is ship safety 
yeah so ship safety this radar system is most and ultimately important in this application called ship safety and the next one is space this radar system is most profoundly used in the space as we already learned in this session only about air traffic control, aircraft navigation that between the helicopters flights to track them, to trace them. This radar system is mostly used. And the fifth one is remote sensing. All the remote controllers have a great applicability in the radar system communications right so communication is something which is most profoundly related to this concept called radar right and that's why it is placed in the ECE and the sixth one is law enforcement so this is the thing which you will get shocked that what this radar is used really in this law enforcement something which is related to law yes the answer to this is yes radar is profoundly used in this law enforcement the deeper details to it we can discuss it in the next video since i told that i have to discuss the topic the basic functionality of this so even though if i discuss now it won't be get clearly by you right and this next one is military last but not the least this military is the major and the major application of the radar there are a lot of uh, i showed uh, two couple of pictures of this radar like uh, i think i'll show it again wait yeah this both type of radar that means the circular ladder and the parabolic shape of radar these are mostly used in the military systems only right you get a clarity right now coming into the topic the most basic topic of this radar system subject the first topic of chapter one of radar system is basic function of a radar what does this radar do right the basic radar consists of a transmitting antenna and a receiving antenna normally all the radars will have to generally will any radar will have a two antenna right one for the transmitting the signal and second one is receiving the signal but what is more special in this case of radar is but here in most of the cases a in a single antenna serves for both transmission and reception of the signal that means there will be only one antenna there will be only one antenna in the radar which serves as transmitter and receiver that means it only transmit the signals and it only receive the signals let us clearly understand the situation by observing the figure yes so assume as an example figure so this is a radar system assume it as a radar system which is working as a transmitter antenna and a receiving antenna simply to say this radar is a transceiver right so uh, here an aeroplane is considered as a target or object there will be a lot of objects behind this right for example in this example we considered aeroplane as our target right so i told you in before session that consider the range assume it as a distance so now i think you'll get clarity by seeing this figure nothing but the distance between this radar system i mean this antenna and at the same time the target what is the distance between this target and the radar system is simply called as a range and it is denoted by r right yes now what is happening in the functioning of an antenna the transmitting antenna since the transmitter transmits the signal in the similar way here also the transmitting antenna transmits electromagnetic radiations what does it transmit the radar which is having a single antenna transmits electromagnetic radiations into the space with the speed similar to the speed of the light we all know that the speed of the light is 3 into 10 power at meters per second right and it is also denoted by c right so the speed of the light is equal to the speed of the rate at which this transmitting antenna transmits the electromagnetic radiations right and next what is the second step ha happened in this radar transmission if any object or target is present in the space means 
it intercepts the radiation signal intercept is nothing but to abstract it or to being itself as an obstacle and block the way and all the meanings related to it so what happen if there is an any object or target in the space it obstructs the signal i mean it obstructs the electromagnetic radiations which is transmitted by the radar system here and back scatters the signals in all the possible directions here what is going to happen is when there is an any object in the space it obstructs the free flow of the electromagnetic radiations and it just back scatters all the radiations in all the directions possible that means it stops the radiation and scatters it in all the way possible to it right and next now you'll get a doubt that if signals are scattered then how does the receiver able to receive the signals right transmitter is something which transmits the signal at the same time those transmitted signals should be received by the receiver right but in this case what happened all the transmitted signal is just scattered in all the possible directions so how does the receiver receive the signal don't worry we'll going to clear this out very soon yes here what is the phenomena happening to going is receiving antenna will accumulate accumulate is nothing but to collect it collects all the back scattered radiation signals and transfer to the receiver what does the receiver antenna do it collects all the back scattered signals that means it it it, it makes all the signals together and transfer to the receiver it is the purpose of the receiving antenna here this receiving antenna accumulate the signals and transfer to the receiver then the receiver process the radiating signals and determines the target position and the relative velocity of the target right here what is the main function or main purpose of doing this its radar name itself says that it should detect an object how can it detect an object when it or when it uh, transmits the signal if the signal gets back scattered or if the signal got an obstacle means it clearly indicates that there is a something object there right so and uh, it get the transmitted signals back to the receiver and then the receiver process these signals to determine the target position that means where is the target present there and a relative velocity that means speed of the target right and next the range range here the basic functionality of the target i mean the the basic functionality of the radar system mainly comes to a conclusion finding out the range of the target that means the distance between the radar system and the transmitter right so this range of the target can be calculated by measuring the amount of time taken by the radiating pulse radiating pulse means nothing but the signal transmitted and receiving between both of them it is a technical name of the electromagnetic signal that's all right so the range of the target is calculated by measuring the amount of time taken by the signal to reach the target and return back to the receiver here the electromagnetic pulses are going to reach the target and getting back to the receiver so the time taken to happen all this process is nothing called as tr right it is called as tr that means amount of the time required for the calculated range right and this radiating pulses are nothing but signals transmitted in receiver back right so here we are going to find uh, the range of an object how does we find the range of an object in the previous slide we we got a cl clarity that the electromagnetic radiation travels with the speed of the light right since the speed of the light is similar to it here in the place of the velocity we can substitute c right yes velocity is nothing but the speed so we can substitute the speed of the light here right and the ray here we already told that range is nothing but the distance how can we calculate distance distance is simply calculated based on the formula that velocity into time right here seen here in the space of velocity we got c then what should we get in the space of time right uh, 
in the previous slide we know that the time is t yeah? that means time taken between the transmitter signal and the received signal right here i think if you clearly follow the session you will get a doubt that what why does this 2 comes here right why does this 2 comes here when we simply say that range is equal to velocity into time then we should get c into tr why does this 2 come here right so next yes here you might get a doubt why we divide the time taken by the signal with the 2 why because the time tr there represents the time taken for the signal to go to the object to hit it and get back by it and reach the receiver and become the receiver antenna right that means it is traveling two times for example let us uh, assume this with an example right if the distance between here yeah so if the distance between a to b totally is 10 kilometers if a person travels from a to b and reaches again back to a uh, the distance he traveled is 10 kilometers what does it mean it means that he traveled 5 kilometers towards and 5 kilometers pro that means the to and fro motion is nothing but 10 kilometers here if anyone asks what is the distance between them then what should we say it is 10 by 2 which is equal to 5 same concept is applied here simply the time taken to go and reach the target and again come back is tr so here what we want here distance range is equal to velocity into time which means the time required what is the total time taken there it is nothing but tr by 2 right so that is the reason by because of which there two factor comes there yes so finally we got an answer of how range is calculated range the formula for the range is nothing but c into tr by 2 so if anyone asks what is the functionality of a radar i hope you are clear with the functionality of the radar these are what the function happened behind the radar and it is the process by which the radar detects the object and the functionality of a radar finally concludes with telling about the formula of the range nothing but c into tr by 2 right so uh, let us winding up the video uh, in this con in this video we are described about the topics like uh, what does this radar stands for we understood what does the radar really mean and what is the definition of the radar and what is the basic principle behind which the radar works out and a brief explanation about applications as i already said i'll tell it in my further videos and what are the basic functions of a radar so among all these four concepts among all these four concepts this is the major concept which is clearly explained in this video and i hope you're all cleared with my explanation you can express your views in your comments session and yes i'll be back soon with my next video and until then keep watching to my channel for all the videos related to btec ece jnd uk r16 regulation thank you for watching bye bye